right, let's get right into it. Here is what we are going to create today. We will create a character which is able to swing his axe. Basically, I will show you how to add this animation to your third person character in just five minutes with five lines of code and all three assets. So let's dive in. So before starting this tutorial, you should make sure that you have your third person character set up already. If you don't know how to do that, please check out my other tutorial, which I will link in the description below. Thank you. So first up, we need a weapon. In my case, that is the axe. So go ahead and take your weapon and align it to the hand of your character. Once you are done positioning your weapon, go to the left in the hierarchy window and select the part of the skeleton of your character that you want to attach your weapon to. In my case, that is the index finger. Select your weapon and drag it onto the part you want to attach it to. It will then tell you that this will break the prefab, but that is okay, so hit continue. I will also adjust the weapon a little bit until I'm happy with it, and then just hit play. As you can see, the weapon is now attached to the hand of the character. Let's download some animation. Go over to the asset store, hit free only, and then type in melee. Here we choose the melee axe pack and then choose to import or download it in your case. It should then show up in your hierarchy window down here. One very important thing here is that you delete the animator that is on your character. So if you have a character imported, please delete the animator on it, not on the third person controller, but on the character itself. All right, let's start animating this character. So let's head over to the animator, create a new state, empty one, click on the new state and give it a name. In this case, we call it swing. Then click on the gray dot right between motion and select a motion from the list. I will choose the high swing from the melee package we just downloaded. So let's add some transition. Right click on grounded, click on make transition and drag it to swing. Do the same uh, the other way around and you have two transitions. Now click on the plus sign right there and create a new trigger, we call it attack. And then click on the transition from ground to swing, add a new condition and set that condition to attack. We will need that later for the code. Oh, and also go ahead and click on swing and change the speed of the animation to two. That will make it a little bit faster. So let's add our code, shall we? Click on third person controller, go down to the third person user control script and click on edit script. First, we will create a new animator by typing private animator m animator. And in the start function, we will then define the animator by typing n animator equals get component animator. This will initialize the animator. We will then come down to update and enter the code which is needed to play the animation when the mouse button is clicked. In my case that's the left mouse button that is symbolized by the zero inside the parentheses. And once that is clicked we take the animator and tell it to trigger the attack trigger which will then lead to the transition activating. And we are done! So just hit that play button, lean back in your chair and relax. Yeah, that's basically it. Pretty simple, pretty fast. So if you like that, please leave me a like and also consider subscribing. And let me know in the comments if you want to see other tutorials. Cheers!